Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I'm going to turn this, which is gallium, into a coin. So let's do it. Alright, so I've got a hairdryer, which I'm going to be using to heat up and melt this gallium in this jar here. And here, um, as you can see right here, I made this quick mold using Plastamake and I put the coin in there which is actually a little token so that pops out, there we go give it a bit of a dry and I have the imprint, you can't see it now but the imprint of that coin there is now in this Plastamake so So now all I gotta do is melt this just by putting this over the top. Alright, so I gotta act quick, but all of this is molten. So I'm gonna pour it into here now. Look at that. That worked. A lot better than I expected. Now, basically, gallium, um, it can take a little while to harden up fully, but also, yeah, judging by the thickness of that coin, it's gonna take a long time. So, I think I might leave this just to sit there for a little while, and then we'll see how it goes uh, once it's all hardened. So, you can like see the camera in the reflection of that gallium. All right, so just a quick update. I've had this sitting here for almost two hours. It is still slightly liquid. Um, so I'm gonna just leave this here. I'll probably come back later on tonight just to make sure it's fully solidified. Then I can take it out and have a look if I've actually made a good enough imprint on this gallium here into the coin. So. I guess I'll catch you when it's dark. Alright, so it's almost five hours later, because I just got home from work actually, so had that sitting there. Just hope that it's still it's all hard. But here we go, that's looking all shiny. I've got my phone here to film up close. There we go. There it is. It's all solid. Gallium with, you can see that. It says one token, no cash value. And if you have a look, if you have a look at that. Right there. So I turned this into this into this. You know, I'm actually pretty proud of that. I'm actually really happy for how well that worked. Like a little solid coin of gallium right here. Now really, I should probably be wearing gloves when touching a gallium. Now a lot of you may think, because gallium is actually non-toxic, but the truth is its toxicity is unknown at this point. There hasn't been much research going into it. So it's always just the safe option to wear gloves because, you know, rashes and things might start to develop, but Anyway, that is my little coin that I made. So, uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.